This is what he usually fishes out of. This is a huge, huge shine boat, bass boat, whatever you want to call it. Here's what I had tied on. It's good to have them tied on, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got about a 10, 10 or 12 inch yeah. uh, um, trick worm. Uh, that's called a trick worm, isn't it? It is, uh huh? And then, uh, Another trick worm, white trick one. Worm floater. That's for the top. Float across weeds and things. And just a jig with the. Uh, Swim jig thing? Mm hmm. Yeah, with, with the split tail. Yeah. Spinner. And I'll trade that out with a. Uh, one of the crankbaits, the lipless crankbait. This rod will be for that one. And this one will be for changing different jig colors. This one will be for the lightest. I've changed that to some light uh, trick worms, smaller ones, on this spinning outfit. And then that one will be for the heavy worm, changing to some different kinds that I've got made up in the box. Sounds like so a plan. Here we are rigged up on the trailer and ready to go. And we're headed down to Pine Island Fish Camp. And uh, Bruce is going to show me some of his spots down there. Here we are, the two, the two great kayak fishermen. Just getting underway, and it's uh, 11:36, and uh, who knows what what the day holds. I hope it doesn't hold rain. <laughs> it's kind of like what it looks like. I like my new paddle. Steve Miller put me on this paddle. One more preliminary comment here. Bruce and I. This is Bruce Gover from Kentucky. And uh, he's going to show me how to fish Lake Griffin because he's been fishing here for years and years. So don't be surprised if I get a lot of big catches on my video today. Okay? I'm looking forward to it. We're heading off into some cloudy weather. And uh, what the forecast is for sunny and upper 70s, and I prefer to believe that. Okay, we're going to go to what? what's uh, called the finger canals and there to the left which is north right in here is the fingers yeah that's okay I'll, I mean you you got there first you can name it From here, it doesn't look like it does anything but st go back in there and stop. Yeah. Yes, I never thought. I never thought this would be here. Hmm. Look at this. How about this? Bruce, you need to be in front of me so, because if you catch one, it'd be easier for me to get you on camera. And then if I catch one, I can, you know, I'm all set up to do that yeah. too. I, I mean, that's the thing to do, I believe. It. Change baits if you're not getting bit. Now, Bruce has an Ascend kayak which is a fishing kayak and he's got the high seat on it which is a very good feature that allows him to to flip because he's further off the water than I am I'm sitting down in fact my butt will be wet when I get back because of the scupper holes in the seat area here so he's gonna fish on the left side and I'll go over here and fish these pads on the right side
I've got the horny toad on. This little paddle is working out good. When I get over next to the lily pads, I can just make a couple of strokes with it and get my direction reestablished. And I'm going to go right across the right end of the pad, Steve, for you, baby. Well, that's what usually happens when I do it. <laughs> I get hung up. This is picturesque, isn't it? The only thing that would make it better is if one of us would catch a nice bass. Okay, I think this is the end of this particular canal. And Bruce calls these the fingers. I wonder how many fingers there are. More canals like this, Bruce, in this area? Well, I got a bag on my uh, cap cam because it's uh, it's raining. It's not. I'm underneath this big oak tree, which has given me considerable shelter. But out there on the lake, it's uh, windy and rainy. So we didn't pick a very good day. Bruce got a bass. Caught a bass. All right. Go! Way to go! That's good enough. I'd say it's 15 inches and it's a uh, pound and a half. Well, it's better bait. I got you here on my, on my cap cam, I'm pretty sure. That's not bad. Let's go. Right on, right on the point? Here's the other canal that uh, Bruce wanted to show me. It looks like this one may be on uh, um, Harbor Hills. Now we're coming up on the golf course, Harbor Hills. In fact, we're coming up on uh, the 10th. Fairway, which is very pretty, except when you're out there playing. When I'm out there playing, I'm always wishing that I was fishing. And today I'm fishing, and uh, it's it's better even though I haven't caught a fish. There's the clubhouse up there on the hill. You can probably see that with the cap cam. Wait a minute! Hang on. That's good. Bruce picked up another one on a spinnerbait here. Let me get around here so I can get this thing. Right. He brings them in the boat so quick I can't. I can't get him catching them. Though. This is the same spot he caught the one. <laughs> the same place he caught the other one. I'll be darned.
Yeah, you're darn right on a day like this, you catch two fish off the same point. Yep, that's a, that's a waiver fish. I don't think it would go quite 14, but, but it's a fish anyway. Way to go. <laughs> well, we don't have to leave yet. You might catch another one, and I, and I might put on a spinnerbait. 